In this quick video, we're going to show you how to enter a supplier batch invoice. To do this, from the navigation bar down the left, click suppliers. And then from the toolbar at the top, click batch invoice. The first field you'll need to fill in is the account reference, or which supplier is it you've been invoiced from. You can either type in the account reference, or if it's easier, select it from the drop down list. You have an attached column, so if you have a photograph or maybe a scanned copy of your invoice, for example, you could attach that to the transaction. To attach a document, you just click on the plus sign, and then you'll be able to browse to the document that you want to attach. You can attach more than one if required. You'll then be prompted to enter the date of the invoice. It will pick up your program date, However, this can be amended if required. You then get an option to amend the due date. Now the due on date will be calculated automatically for you based on the invoice date plus the payment terms that are set up within the supplier account. You then enter the reference. So this is usually used for the, say the purchase invoice number. You can also enter an extra reference, and then you'd be prompted to enter the relevant nominal code. Now the nominal code will also be picked up from the defaults within the supplier's record. Again, this can be changed if required. The department is also picked up from the supplier's account. However, again, this can be changed if required. If you have the charity option enabled within the software, you'll then be prompted to enter a fund. We leave that blank in this instance. And similar, if you use the project option, you'll be prompted to then enter a project reference and a cost code, which we'll also leave blank in this case. The details, you just need to enter some details of what it is the invoice relates to. So we'll just type repairs in our instance. And then tab along, we'll enter the net value. We leave the tax code set to T1, obviously if required, you can change this from the drop down, but we're gonna say we've been charged 20% VAT, so it's standard rate of tax in this case. So we'll just leave it set to T1. The VAT will calculate automatically. And at that point, we could save the transaction or we could tab down to the next line. However, what we're gonna do in this instance is we're gonna flag it as having been paid straight away. So if we just tab along to the amount paid column key in the amount we have paid. Now you, you might just be part paying it, so whatever the value is that you've paid, pop that into the amount paid column. So we'll say we've paid 120 pounds. We'll say we've paid that straight away, so we'll just accept today's date. Choose the bank account that the money was paid out of. So we'll just say account 1200 in our instance, and also the payment reference. So we're just gonna say card. If necessary, because we are in the batch invoice screen, we can tab down to the next line and we can start entering additional invoices. Other than that, when we're ready, we click save. And that's it done. If we click close, and we go back into the relevant supplier, have a look at the activity. We'll see the invoice that we've just entered and also the payment that's being posted. And because we've entered the payment at the same time as the invoice, they're both allocated together.